God be with you on this solemnity, celebration of the Annunciation of our Lord. It's a great feast, my people. And uh, uh, the angel made a statement uh, that with God, nothing is impossible. And that is our topic for today. What actually happened on the occasion of the Annunciation of the Lord? That was that point in history when an angel called Gabriel came to a small lady called Mary or Maria and told her that she, of all the ladies, will be the mother of the expected Messiah. Every, every Jew at that moment, from children to adult, knew that they were expecting a Messiah. But from where, nobody knew. Mary was confused. She asked the question, how can this happen since I, knew, I don't know any man? That means, I, how can I be a, a mother and become pregnant without a man? The angel tried his best to explain to her that the Holy Spirit will come upon her and, on, and, and so on and so forth. But I think what settled the matter and calmed Mary down was the statement, for with God, Nothing is impossible. I think that's what made sense to her. And that is the point of faith. We are in faith not to understand everything, but to believe that even that which we don't understand, God understands. We are in faith not to resign to faith because um, certain things are beyond our power. No, we are in the business of faith to believe that that thing that is beyond us, that God is mightier than it, and that with him, nothing, nothing is impossible. He has done great things and is ready to do it again. And the secret of it all is that it is by believing that with him, nothing is impossible that makes everything possible for us. That means faith. Especially faith in this very statement that with God nothing is impossible. Faith is the key that unlocks the miracle. So, uh, may God give us the grace never to give up. May God give us the grace never to approach Him or faith our life only with our head. Anything we don't understand, anything that exceeds or goes beyond our own capitulation, we, we, we call it off. No. God has never has not finished. He will do great and greater things. And may He continue to give you the faith to believe in His power to make impossibilities possible. And may He continue to make you experience it in your own life. Impossibilities becoming possible. And that's why we have Jesus with us today, our loving Lord, to bless you, especially in the situations that seem impossible for you. Maybe may the Eucharistic Jesus lay his hands upon you now and open all closed doors and heal all wounds and make the impossibilities, seeming impossibilities of your life possible with speed. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.